to Prime View. My name is Mystic Marlene. Today we'll be discussing about matters arising in Nigeria and why President Mohamedou Buhari should or should not be voted in to continue as the President of Nigeria. With me this afternoon is uh, my co-host uh, Spencer Aniwal. Uh, welcome to Prime View. And we have today with us on the show uh, a political analyst and an APC member. And his name is al Hadi Salusi Adamu Mohammed from Sabangari, Kaduna State. So welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Same here. It's really we, a delight we, to be here. Yeah, we, we know you came You're in welcome. today this morning. You came in this morning from Nigeria. How's Nigeria doing? Nigeria is doing fine. Nigeria is doing fine, and um, um, we are really very happy with the recent um, happenings. I was going to say congratulations. Yes, yeah, so thank you very much. Thank you, yesterday. thank you very much. And yeah. um, to 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 really shed some light on that, it is it, it is something that everybody who has really been following the trend of things really has seen, and it was clear the writing on the wall would be an APC victory, and I tell you why because. If you look at what has been going on, the good people of Ekiti, St uh, Ekiti State spoke, and they spoke well. They really decided on where they wanted to go, vis-a-vis -vis where they had been in four years and where they were going. Now, if you look at both campaigns of the two candidates, um, uh, um, uh, the former governor of Fiamme was really addressing specifics, where he wanted to take them in terms of their uh, national lives, um, implementing policies, what he hadn't been. But on the other side of the PDP, all we could hear was just um, the current, uh, His Excellency Governor Fire, she just ranting and talking and shouting, stomach you know, so stomach, <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, for so, so it was clear that anybody that was really following would really see there was a roadmap here. And you see, it's always in that is the direction of the APC, if I may speak as, you know, a member of the APC. We clearly stick to the policies, the issues. We don't like to mumble up into things. And that's what this election played out. The p good people of Ekiti heard both sides. They really decided that, look, this is where we feel safe in, just like it happened in the, with the 2015 general election. So we are very happy in the APC. Yeah. And this is clear indication that Nigerians today, they know the truth. They really know where they want to go. They really know how and they know what vehicle to take them there. And that's the APC. I mean, so, uh, well, sorry, uh, some, some of the people in the in, in Ekiti State have expressed concerns. Um, and, you know, with Governor Fauci, he had this uh, way of dealing with the killings that tried to come near the state. So I don't know if with the APC coming to power now, you can see what's happening across Nigeria. I hope it's not going to be a case of that same issue coming into Ekiti State now because, you know, people in Ekiti were really happy with Fireshare for dealing with that issue. Well, well, the so issue of the, the APC, and say, are they going to continue with what the, Fireshare did? Or most definitely. Are we, we going to start seeing The issue killings? of killings in the state, I remember Governor, former Governor Fireman even said it, he never had any of these issues. You know, these issues of killings are not things that happened that are not of today. They're things that have been with us for years. So even the, the Governor Fireman even said it. You know that he never had these issues during his time and he would continue to govern that state in the right direction so the issue of killings is not even going to arise and the issue of killings are being walked upon the, the mr president has clearly told us this thing is something that will be dealt with and dealt with squarely and to go by his antecedents and his track record this is a president that when he says something he does it he did it with boko haram 
he came in here he set put a machinery in place and today the northeast is a different ball game not even the northeast the whole of nigeria because if we remember we always tend to forget you know there was a time that even up to abuja and even going towards lagos we were receiving bombs we couldn't even sit like and chat one when, when you're always looking over your shoulder but thank god for the what the almighty has done today borno is safe People are going about their businesses. People are moving out of IDP camps, going back home. So I would want to say the issue of these killings are things that is a phase we're going through, but it would be solved. It would be solved. We have 100% assurance because of the type of leader we have today, a man of integrity, a man of discipline, a man who, if he says he's going to do something, he does it. Okay, can I, can I challenge you a little bit on that? Please, please, please. Taking, taking, taking a kitty out of it for now. How, what achievements so but I wish far. you congratulated us. Oh, oh he has already done that. <laughs> okay. He's already done that, so okay. do I need to do that again? Okay, all so, right. Well, okay, well, I say congratulations. Yes, because everybody yes. thought the APC was, was, will, not, will mm. never get that. That is why, well, well, for us, you know, we really stuck to our guns. We were focused on the issues. Yeah, but if and that is there one was thing a about drama, the APC. There was a drama before that. That's okay. why, especially in diaspora here, that was why we didn't think they would get it back because there was a drama, initial drama before, like uh, my neck being broken and all that. That was, you know, so that you happened. Know, yeah, we don't want but, that. Because but, that was like, that's like, uh, for me to describe that is yes. like, I don't know if you watch football with the Neymar issue. You know, when he, you know, because the police said they didn't touch him. How yes. come it was only him that was tear gas okay. and the whole crowd? Wow. The whole crowd it was only one person. Tear gas doesn't only affect one. But let's leave that. Yeah, that out. Was what I said. We have let's won leave, the election. The people. Leave a kitty. <laughs> it was Put peaceful, a free, yes. and fair. So yeah. we thank God. Before yeah. you leave it, or mm. it itself was highly monetized. There's that allegation as well that there was money being shared. So was this a case of fire APC getting back into power, use it by the power of? You know, by the war chest, and well, uh, we saw how well, well, they were. Let, 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 let me, let know? me. The issue of money, the issue yeah. of money. Well, from what I heard, I was, I, I heard we all alleged, but like yeah. every election, we know we always hear these things, you know. And I know with the number of policemen that were there deployed, I'm sure mm -hmm. if they should have arrested anybody. Was but like we said, to deploy that amount of police. excuse me, was it necessary to deploy that amount? Of well, police? you see, um, the issue of security is something that forces. the issue of security. You know, it's something that you cannot really take for granted. Yes. And we don't know the intel the Nigerian police have. You understand? Because even if you go by from what you said about the, you saw the yes. neck collar and everything, yes. the police clearly were saying, do not, both parties should not um, 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 campaign, yeah. do mm -hmm. campaigns at a certain place. Mm -hmm. You understand? And you can see what even happened. So, because they were, you know, so we just don't know what intel. So the issue of yes. security for me is always something I... I am not qualified to talk no, on were, because of the intel. We that, don't yes. know. So for me, that yes. figure, 30,000, yeah. if the police have intel and they believe that is what was needed, yeah. and today we have, it was done peacefully, it was done orderly. The people of Ekiti came out very early in the morning from what I hear. They stood in. It was so, I mean, we, it, it was a wonderful victory for me. I, I think okay. um, we couldn't yeah. have asked for more. Okay. It's clearly showing that the APC manifesto APC is working. APC is really, and well, let me That's just know. That's where I was coming. 20, 2019 That's is coming. That's what I was going 2019, to ask you. you will see more states no, no, come no. on what board. What I was going to ask you, you, you said APC is working. Yeah, the administration, yes. administration is working. Can you give us some specific sort of um, achievements that APC, we can now, Nigeria can say, okay, now we have these achievements. This has been done. This has been done. This has been done. Wonderful. First and foremost, let's even start from um, infrastructure. Yes. Today, our country today is starting, no, let me say it like this. Now, this today, Nigeria has the first, the first in 2018 intercity rail. The first in 2018. Nigeria, for me personally, it was just, I think in 2016, that I entered a train for the first time from Abuja to Kaduna. So going by infrastructure, we have had a serious infrastructure deficit in, mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Seriously. The IC um, Infrastructure um, Regulatory Commission said we need 33, tri I think 33 trillion mm -hmm. naira for make up our infrastructure. Now, we all know no economy can thrive without infrastructure. Yes. Roads. Businesses will crumble because even moving of goods is a problem. That's why you see it is easier in Nigeria for someone to go to China 
to buy goods and come and sell than for him to plant it in, and let's say, for instance, plant it in Meduguri and transport it to Lagos because the transportation cost is terrible. So this, uh, one of the uh, achievements of this administration is we have never had the highest budgeted for infrastructure alone mm -hmm. like what we've had under this government. Yeah, and the because train you were talking about was started by the previous administration, wasn't it? No, no, no. The train, if we're to go by who started what, yeah. and I'm very happy you said that because yes. I've heard, I always yeah, hear because this. Because you want to accept achievements and you're trying to no, claim no, no. it. Yes, because, because yeah. it, it could have been mm -hmm. like the antecedents we've had for 16 years. Yeah. Let's go back memory lane. One of the major problems we've had in Nigeria is what? Abandoned projects. Do you know why? The moment I come into power, stop this thing. Stop it. Mm -mm, no, 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 stop. No, no. I'll award it again. Abandoned projects everywhere. If you go through the FCT, go to state, as you're traveling from one state, you just see land, buildings, you know, 25%, 10%, simply because of whoever comes believe. Now, the APC mm -hmm. said one thing when they were coming in power that we would ensure that anywhere where Nigeria has invested in a project, we would ensure, all we would look at it is look at it again, ensure that we turn it around, make it more efficient, and it would be implemented. Even the governor of Kaduna State, I don't know if you know Kaduna, there's a road, there's a major road, high, uh, major road that was done. When my Governor Mal Nasser came into power, what did he do? He called the contractors together. He was able to get a huge discount. They did it a lot better than it was initially supposed to have been done. Now tell me if Mal Nasser today came and folded his hand and said, look, like the previous, no, 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 I don't know about this, you guys walk. So what, what were we having? Today, uh, if you follow Fashola, the minister, mm -hmm. he always talks about we are repaying back debts and debts of contractors not being paid since as far back as 2009. Mm -hmm. So infrastructure is one thing that this government has consistently been doing. Mm -hmm. I have it on, 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 on good authority, road networks that have been done across the country. Even just the last FEC meeting, another almost 30 something billion, 33, I think about 33 billion, all on infrastructure. You see, because without infrastructure, no magic can happen in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. There's not, we, we, that's why for me, when people sit and tell people, when I go, oh, jobs are being lost, how won't jobs be lost? When this, the infrastructure is not there, how would a business thrive if you don't have power? Because what, your finished goods, by the time you bring out your finished goods, mm -hmm. right, nobody can buy them. And if nobody can buy them, how do you employ people? That's one, infrastructure. Then secondly, I love this topic so much because yeah, then secondly is on agriculture. Yes, that's agriculture is there, yes. if there's anything we have never ever pushed and pushed and focused on agriculture like it's been done now. With the, with, with the CBN um, intervention, the, the um, credit scheme to farmers, the whole of Europe today from what I can even understand or even China, Agriculture is what they thrive on, from their juices, their milks, their wood. These are things that employs across the value chain. You employ so many people. Today alone in Nigeria, because of the, the CBN um, cash transfer scheme, yeah, yeah. whereby they give these small loans to yeah, farmers, to farmers, you understand, yeah. a lot of people are going back to the farm. And then secondly, fertilizer, which is a major catalyst mm -hmm. towards us. The president went all the way to Morocco. The Moroccan president came here fertilizer plants today across the six geopolitical zones today we have them so you see agriculture is something that would deliver us you can never go wrong with agriculture once we fit I, I can never forget the minister of agriculture saying uh, things as bad as toothpicks yeah. eggs yes. yams we import these things yeah. and you know what happens to the whenever you do this but, but we, we, we take stopped, we take we stopped importing yes we have i mean our import yeah. uh, our export yeah. bills are have been crashed by almost 95 uh, so percent so we're manufacturing two picks now. we have we are doing ours now gradually yeah. gradually these things are coming up you know the thing is like i think sometimes some the the, the, the there's some nigerians that believe that it's a switch yeah. you turn it on and off yeah. you see but the thing is everything has a process like, for instance, power now. You can see the Minister of Power growing white. The fashola, he's all white hair. Because it's not easy. Because for you, there's a process to have power. It's not something that you can just switch on and on. The turbines from the, the, the gas, from so many things, have to be put in place. And then you know the fundamental fa factor again of Nigeria? Us. Because we are was, uh, the well, architect of it and all know. that. You know, that's another bucket we'll come to. <laughs> you understand? So there's so many areas that this administration has really focused on. But the two areas that I think is very critical, infrastructure yeah, like and agriculture. And because um, when the president was campaigning, mm -hmm. he focused a lot on the economy. Yeah. And this is what 
really, really will drive any economy in the world, you see, be it Asia, be it Europe, be it any economy, you focus I mean, on your well, infrastructure. Some, on sorry, mm -hmm. some would say, though, that, um, yeah, in, he's made some gains. Well, well, no, not well, some. I think quite a lot. Some We're some, not there yet. Some, We're not some, there yeah. yet, but... Mm -hmm. It's obvious that we are making progress yeah. because you know some when these monies are you know the the problem is even the monies to do these things today yeah. you know the president has said it not once not twice these are times they have to borrow and keep borrowing because sometimes when you're in these situations you have to 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 borrow good think outside the box borrow to do infrastructure is all right not like before when we borrowed to do to do projects that today we yeah. have. We're building a world-class airport, the Abuja one, which I know. The intercity rail has started. The, 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 uh, a lot of roads connecting east to west. The second Niger Bridge, the Mambila Pro Power Project. This is a project that I understand since from the early 90s was conceived. But nobody ever saw it as to do anything about it until now. So for what? me, I personally believe that... Taking you back to agriculture. Yes, please. In as much as you just clearly said now that they have done this, done that. Does he mean that the cost of food is gone down? Because I was in Nigeria recently. Super. I think I had you in the radio show the other time, and you told me it was down. I went to Nigeria after that. It wasn't as I expected. It wasn't down. So now maybe maybe you what, what were your expectations? You expected it to come down to what? Well, I was there when it skyrocketed to twenty something. Yes. And it came down to fourteen. Today, well, a bag of rice is going for 14,000, 15,000. Yes. Well, well. I, I believe well, from 20 something to 14. Well, or something. I, didn't, I, didn't check about, I didn't check bag of rice, but I checked. What I'm talking about really mainly is like the tomatoes, the ones that we planted, like, like we cultivated. We were still high. Yes. Why is it well, so? Yeah, yes, you see, the, 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 as an economist, which I'm also, because I'm also an economist, you see, there's what we call price control. Yeah. And there's the artificial one, mm. and of course there's the realistic one. Mm -hmm. Now, what you see most of the times, mm -hmm. even with the, let me even pick rice, yeah. sorry, mm -hmm. to go back to that. You see, it's to a lot of people, because now anybody believes that it is cheaper for me to take my rice that I do here mm -hmm. and smuggle it out or take it out mm -hmm. and go and sell it and make more money than to bring it to the markets here. Mm -hmm. So it's still a function of demand and supply. And that's why I'll say, we need a lot more from our associations, mm -hmm. government, price policies. Mm -hmm. We're not there yet, believe you me. Yeah. But at least we are taking those giant steps that we didn't take for over 16 years. Yeah. And we keep, uh, I keep hearing people talk about, oh, no, we keep, we have to keep talking about it. Because for me, if I don't know my fixed, uh, if I don't even understand where I went wrong in the past, mm -hmm. there's no way I can <laughs> focus yeah, on no the future. Yeah. So clearly, agriculture is the only way for you but, to get but, but, yeah, um, that's, economic that's independence. That's why I all reveal that. The, the issue, what people always say is, if you still need people to be alive first, to mm -hmm. even enjoy these things we're talking about. <coughs> so if we're sitting back and watching people being killed across the country, I mean, if you could recall, most of uh, the, the, uh, the last administration uh, were, 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 well, I'll use the word, booted out of power because of what's happening now. When the Boko Haram was rampaging and taking over territories, it was seen as people being killed for no reason. We didn't understand it. Now we're having no, the we same understood Boko Haram. No, no, we didn't. We, we, are, we, we understood now Boko Haram. Now we're having the same we problem. We knew Boko where Haram. Because this is the major problem this administration is going to have. We're mm -hmm. seeing people being killed every day. It's, it's mind-boggling how every day you're hearing four, 300 people, 80 people, and nothing is happening. 300 people? Well, the, the no, no, well, we've not well, heard well, that. Is he, is he, and, and no, 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 we've not. And you know what is? We're not seeing the president standing up and make a speech to the nation and say, look, I'm calling a, a, a real emergency on this issue, right? Talk to Nigerians. That's what we expect, you know. Talk to Nigerians and say to Nigerians, you know what? This is a major problem. We're not going to stand back and watch this happen anymore. We're going after these people doing this and we're not going to stand for it. Well, what we see is just a, an easy, laid-back attitude towards it and, and Nigerians are getting fed up of it. So what we're saying is this is what needs to be communicated through your party or your party member, you let, know, let, let, to the president, let, to let, him let, let, me, let, me, let me start. Not with it. Let me start by saying, killing anywhere to anyone, any place is very wrong. Completely, it is a devilish act, if I may use that word. It is something that every time you hear about it, your heart bleeds, and you, of course, feel for. 
the families that have been affected by this and you keep praying and wishing that this stops ASAP immediately and whoever is behind this are brought to book now oh cut you down there brought to book that's the word that they have been we in diaspora and in Nigeria has been crying we don't want to hear that word I, I'm, I'm getting there yes I'm getting there yeah. I'm getting there now now let me start from the latter you say from nothing is being done about it all nobody is speaking about it no well I I, I, I I really I really find it because at every fora the president has you see I think w what um, and they're within their rights to also demand that they see their president speak and speak like this now from what I have understood with our president mm -hmm. you understand is he talks less and prefers to act more now to some quarters that could be one way there are people who if something happened the first thing they are because i remember clearly he has even said i will not rush to speak especially when we don't have the facts he's for me i've noticed that he's always very disciplined in terms of let me get the facts first and then we now put together what we're doing, but that's and a, then that's a wrong attitude. We can see no, 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 no. I think I think if you say instance, if you say wrong, in America, in America, wrong is relative. You see, States, no, we can't compare. <laughs> we can't no, keep no, comparing ourselves. The States, what we when want is shootings, or anywhere in the world, in most no, of no, 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 no. What you tend to say is he speaks. No. No, Are you no, saying no. the president speaks? He does. He does. Well, no. Okay. What is your problem? Is you want the president to speak personally to you? No. You want the president to speak personally. I would like to feel that way. Let me. Let me. What we have in the United States. Let me finish. Sorry. What we have in the United States is. Every like time it happens, you no, want no. to hear the president come and out and speak. During Obama's time, any time there was a shooting, you see him give a press conference and say, this is not right, we're not going to stand for this, we're going to do things and put things in place. We need a president that can speak to us. Wait, but he speaks through his aides. No, That's okay. not good enough. That's not that's what not, I mean. No, I'm not. I'm such a, a magnificent. Listen, 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 can I, if, can if I, my, can if I come in spoke, there, yeah? If your spokesperson speaks, mm. he speaks on whose behalf? On your behalf. Yes, but that's not what we want. Well, oh, that's not what you he's want. The father of the nation. I feel you. I want my but to what the father of the nation is doing yeah. is instead of him on the phone always well, telling you, not good look, enough. because let me, tell, enough. No, let, I, me, let me I, tell you something. something. Let me take about you back that. to. No, I, remember, and, and for, I think for the first time I'm going to say this. Right? No, let me before you say that. good luck, Abella Jonathan. No, before you say that. Everybody was saying the same thing you're saying. Oh, we're sick and tired of always hearing this coming out to talk to us. Oh, these killings are condemning, condemning, condemning. Everything the president was saying. Now it's so shocking that another person now has a different style. For me, I, for me, I just look at it as two approaches. One person was quick to rush, or like you say, the Obamas were quick to rush. Now, I want to ask you something. Even in the America, this is my personal, uh, my personal opinion. Even in the America, with the president coming out of this, it's good to speak. Of course, you console people, That's but has it solved the problem? It it's still, no, it's it still, it helps. So, it helps so for me, for me, it shows you're concerned. Empathy, and you I know, know but this? our president the people today... people being accused of doing the killing, too, no, are they? can I say our president something today, to you? If there's no. anybody who is no. really, 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 really devastated and sad, about this, I think is Mr. President, like, and he has used listen. every fora to say this. He has used no, every can I means say to tell to us that. this. Now, what, what I want he has to been saying. No, are, before are we, let me have to say something. About what is being have said, said or what no, no, is no, being what done? What have you have spoken? What I'm trying to say is, it's not completely that he's not saying anything. He has been saying, each time it happens, they will be bring they will bring them to book. They will be brought to book. They will be brought to book. Until now, no single person. No, no, no. That's not fair. There are people in Benue that today are before a court. They are arrested. The police have been made. Jimo Moshu has been parading police people. Have no, been parading they've criminals. been parading no, no, criminals. No, 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 they've no, been no. parading criminals, but not this. No, they are arresting We haven't used me. the word. We haven't used the word the handsman. We haven't used that word yet. Yeah, because we, we, but that's we, what we're, we're, we're not talking about harassment here. What? We're talking about killings. Yes. Killings. And yes. every time it happens, the Nigerian police, who are constitutionally empowered mm -hmm. to investigate, because it's an internal thing, mm -hmm. you understand, but mm -hmm. are deployed there, and they come out and arrest people. And these people are charged. Look, there's a system before. Uh, we're not in a military dictatorship, mm -hmm. if you don't mind me saying this. Mm -hmm. We can't catch people. And even the president said it before. It was um, guilty. Uh, how, how do you say? Guilty. Innocent. Uh, and, but innocent now you have to. is innocent guilty. unto yes. proving guilty. Yeah. You understand? So there are people who are before courts. Mm -hmm. You catch them. I mean, no, no, no. If, if we're going to say that the police have not made any arrests, uh, I think yeah. that, would be, that would not be fair on the police. Because we see them every day make arrests. Well, it's not good from, enough. That's what we're saying. Arresting. Okay. It's not 
good enough. What? So, so what you want is you want to see people. You want to see. Let me ask you something. Even the great, even 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 the even the even the number one kidnapper. Let me ask you something. Even the number one kidnapper today is even suing government for saying one or two things. It's the law. The law is the way it works. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, and as far as diasporans are concerned. Nigeria is at war. But yeah. you are not no, accepting I, I, I it. Yes, think, that's I the word. That I'll is, tell you why it is. And I, and I tell you why I'll, that let me, is. I'll tell you why. Because me, of the negativity that comes out no, of it. No, it's not negativity that comes out the of it. The newspapers today are we having are. a field day. No, Everybody that wants to sell papers today will just put... I'm, God for, I'm, not saying, I'm, I'm not saying that these things not, do not happen. I have to explain myself. Yeah. When Boko Haram was there, it was a big thing. You call them terrorists, you call them this, you call them that. Yes, they were. They had a style of killing. They had an ideology, according to them, which is to uh, 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 ed education. Islamatized yeah. or, or, you know, in terms yeah. of education, Edu Western education, education, yes. Western education. But now, this this one just came up. Which one? Hensman. Mm -hmm. yes. The, the headsman. It Hensman. came up from where? Okay, that's Has what the police arrested listen, any headsman? That's what I'm Today, trying to say. Do we have so any headsman head, head, head 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 that Jumo Mushud has no, paraded? They, 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 they that been, the police they, have they come out to show that headsmen did this? They, in, some, in some places, no. there has been no, some... What I'm trying to say, and there's, there's been some who are they? Who are the headsmen? Who are they, yes. Who are the headsmen? Yeah, yes. and who are they and where from? And why will 80 people, 70 people be killed? And not one person was held accountable. Let me tell you my personal opinion on this. On the issue of this, you see, we have three things that are happening. Mm -hmm. They're the farmers, yes. they're the cattle rustlers mm -hmm. who steal. The farmers are complaining that, look, my farm is being encroached mm -hmm. by people With passing cattle. whatever cattle. There's the cattle rustler who is saying, look, who steals cattle. That's all they do. They come and steal cattle in hundreds. That's what you hear the likes of the Mieti Allah always saying their cattle were stolen, their cattle were killed. Their this and, and then, of course, we have what we call the bandits, which I'm going to use what Mr. President once said. Within the Sahel region, there's this, you know, the proliferation of arms. Yes. It's so easy for these light weapons are flying around. Now, these bandits move from place to place doing these things. I'm just saying, based on what I'm not an expert on security or something, so these are just my own person. Now, for you to say herdsmen, the herdsmen now, from my own understanding, is people who rear cattle. We all grew up, even my dad had cattle in his farm, you understand? So I have an idea of what the herdsmen, the herdsmen, like I hear the Mieti Allah say, whenever they're on national TV, so it's not that the national TV, you know, that the people do not engage in this. I remember even the president in killing, the president even said, any Fulani man, that it's really painful that people are thinking he's not acting because he's Fulani. Any Fulani man caught with an AK-47 should be arrested. It is clear it is there for all to see. Some, that's just mere rhetoric. We, we well, no, but I don't understand sure. something. So it for you, say it, things, but so I thought you said happens. you want him to say. You yeah. said you want him to come no, and say. No, so saying, when he comes out to say, speak, it is empathy. Say, no, is that what you want? But when then, but then when he says one thing, is another thing. No, I think then you're not being fair to Mr. President. If he would come out to say, <laughs> give an order to the world in front of everybody and say, any herdsman caught with an AK should be arrested and prosecuted. Yes. And you think that's not good enough? And who's in charge of it happening? Isn't it the police? And uh -huh. who's in charge of the police under the executive? And what we're saying is because nothing's happening, how Nigerians are looking I, at it. I think, as, no, I, I, think, know, I, think someone, I think what you need to do. Came out to, to say I think, a bit of complicity I think I'm understanding thing. why like in the diaspora, thing. in the diaspora, you have this perception. And I, I agree with you, I respect your views, but I think there's more information you need. Maybe you need to get like the police to come and tell you what they're doing because it's, all, it's clear that you don't seem to, that gap, all you hear is just the, every time you open the newspaper, you yeah, see this, you hear really that. No, no, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying, because it would not be right, fair enough, because I know what I see on TV. We see the police arresting people. We see the police following due process in terms of what is, it might not be enough, but at least we're talking about what is being done here. Now, we see, there's also what I know, the, 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 uh, what you call all this, the, the, the state, the countries, the Niger, Nigeria, that, um, the um, um, the that, yeah, no, that meeting thing that's You're been okay, done, yeah. that I know we all do, that mm -hmm. also too was set up mm -hmm. all for this issue. You understand? Mm -hmm. All trying to look for it. Because you see, it's a Sahel problem. It's mm -hmm. a regional problem whereby they keep moving from here, yeah. they come from there. So that and also... It has nothing to do with trying to take over Nigeria, Ibn Zalamaz in Nigeria? 
the these headsmen's yes. killing? Well, no, that's no, the no, that's no, the, no, the, no, the conspiracy no, no. theory. I, I, I would, I would not. I would not because people Nigeria, people who want to the, let me ask you something. People who want to Islam, from my own perception, yes. if you want to invade a country, and I think it's also clear to talk about that. You see, the two Boko Haram and the headsmen are two different things. They're completely yeah, different. It, Boko, they Haram, Boko Haram, Boko they Haram, no, yeah, they were, the, the, the killing is what is just, is. but Boko Haram was a sect that came out just like ISIS and said, look, I am this. This is what I am stand for. This is my what I, I intend to do. And this is what we're doing. And they were moving and encroaching. We were sitting down here up to Abuja from Meduguri. If you know how, how that's almost like 12 hours of driving yeah. up to Meduguri. These guys had come, I mean, to Abuja from Meduguri, they had come in. They were encroaching. You understand? So at that point in time, for me, I could call that as a runover. So it you, was don't a, think, you don't think these killers yes, are terrorists? Yes, that's what I don't think. Ter terrorists. terrorists. You don't think they're terrorists? For me, personally, personally, I don't think they're terrorists. I think criminality is what is happening here. No, and let me tell you why I say that. Why I say this is because these people come out from the bushes. They come in, take what they need to take. Uh, like uh, steal from people, murder them, take their food, take the little they can, and run back into. Now, but, but, sorry, oh, sorry. That's terrorism, isn't it? No, 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 no. Uh, we're talking about think... taking over. Yeah. You didn't talk about. You're yeah, saying taking over Nigeria. Yeah. What, what, but what? you know why they're taking over? When they take, when they go into a village, kill everyone there. Others run away. No one wants to go back to that village. So why don't they stay there? No, but they've taken over the land. No, they've not. Virtually, they've not. Virtually no one's well, there. Well, no, 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 they've not. What so Boko Haram, Boko Haram, which is taking over, they stayed there. They had their flags but in local governments. Why don't you think... 14 local governments were taken from Listen, by Boko Haram. Think... That is running over a okay, town. So, so these guys... Don't you think Boko Haram... These... Can, have you ever thought of, about Boko Haram being the same people in a different clothing? That's what we're thinking. Have you ever thought about no, that? I'm it's not. possible no, they, they changed their style. I, they, there's no need... I, for me, based on what I see of Boko Haram and their identity in their sick heads, yeah. it's, a, it's a religious ideology. Yeah. It, in their sick heads, they will not do it and be hiding in the disguise of this... They will come and come out of you. They it's will possible. strap themselves up and come up. Well, anything is possible, yeah, like I possible. said. But I want us to really, this. I think it's clear that in the diaspora here, and I don't... It's not just in the diaspora. No, no, but, but she's, she, you know, she, she said the diaspora. Yeah, yeah. The diaspora may be that there's this perception here. Yeah. And, you know, perception is a two-way thing. Based on what you hear, mm -hmm. you see what you're being fed. Is naturally yeah. what you believe yeah. and obviously of course even me every it's time i wake up and i see this i see that but i think actions. it's always good you know to go the extra mile get more information no, on these but things you know technology these days there's nothing there's it's no so much between it. diaspora and whatever no, no, you no, see if you Nigeria, talk about technology then no, i think i'm going to say this no, but whatever today you see the only Nigeria, technology we, that we rely on today uh, is videos so media, so videos so media, and we've no. never seen a video of anybody being killed or slaughtered no but we've seen pictures, in the act we've yeah seen picture no 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 in picture bbc bbc a credible media outfit one of the best in the world came out to dispute that and that was the genesis of what is even going on in terms of fake news okay. that we spread a lot no, of fake news same, that no, causes no, 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 i would like to throw that no, what do you think about the bbc no, no, what the no, bbc no, said okay. those pictures BBC? that were flying were wrong no there was no, those pictures no, no, that, no no the no, bbc said it no 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 i i the bbc the bbc came out to say no wait but what i'm saying is look we've already said it's wrong but what we're saying is there's a lot of fake news too fake news that is being spread out there pictures videos and and we we, we we thank God because do you know what this thing Sally it causes a lot of it causes a lot of sixty percent it causes a lot of negativity sixty percent of well, those news well are well fake. well I, th I think we should you know we're gonna yeah. say but no, you know what so, 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 I think for a credible organization like the yeah. BBC mm. to come out to tell us this I think we should really listen no, I agree so, listen, I but, think we so, should listen just before we move on because we're gonna move on to another question yeah. now um the, it leaves a bad taste in the mouths of many Nigerians. When they can look on the one hand, it was good for the president to proscribe or call a, a certain sect in the southeast, who, by all intents and purposes, they were never violent, a terrorist group, the IPOB people. And on the other hand, these are people killing and maiming people and destroying lives. And you, you're sitting back and you're not calling them terrorists. I, 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 and we're saying sorry, these are terrorists. And sorry. once you tell them are we talking about? Are we talking Nigeria about? Are we talking about? Are we talking about iPod now? Well, well, this I'm, is, I just wanted to. No, because that, I, I believe that's what yes, you are saying. The reason yes. why I'm saying that is it. To, it to I, I think that, that is, there's I, a bit I of think, an imbalance there. No, 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 no. On I, the one I think, hand, something to do with Fulani's is being handled 
with kids gloves. No, and no, I it's not, no, no. I think it's not fair for you to say kids gloves. Yeah, perception, Which perception, needs and, to be and dealt people, with. people have people always have perception. Now, I think the iPod issue. It was clear. You see, I think that there's always this when Boko Haram declared war on Nigeria. They had this. They had that. iPod had his money. iPod had his state. IPod declared, declared iPod, iPod, iPod declare wait, one. it was yeah. there now. They told they us that they were one. taking over. They stayed, they, 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 no, they never wait. killed anyone. They never did How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? They did, How do you know? They well, what they did was well, well, I'm, I'm not going to go into it. But let me tell you something. But let me say something. Did iPod give an issue that nobody, everybody should stay at home or not? No, that is, they were government. They had declared, they had their own money that they were Biafra. They had this and that. Okay, seriously. But I think I think the bottom line is whether the name of terrorist or not terrorist, these things should end. That is the bottom line. That is the Let's bottom line and, and, and government government is working round the clock on this if they're not doing enough i can assure you That's i can assure you okay. that this president mm. this president Thank under so his much. watch would continue yeah. to do everything okay. Okay. to ensure that this thing stops okay. can i can we um on this note can we take a short break and come back but when we come back we must take him seriously let's not go into all this security and all that we must take him into politics especially what's going on with the P pdp the cupp and the rest so please stay tuned as we take a short break see you soon <laughs> Heritage, heritage Television. Television. Promoting African culture and heritage at its best. From talk shows that concern you to both local and international news that relates to you. From grassroots football to African children's programs. Heritage Television. We cover your social and special events like weddings, birthdays, church anniversaries and so on and broadcast them live on our apps and online. Heritage Television. Broadcasting everything about culture and heritage. Heritage, heritage Television. Television. We've got, We've it, got covered. it covered. Do download our apps on both Android, iOS, and Windows mobile platform. Heritage, Heritage Television, Television, your very, your own, very own TV, TV station. station. Welcome back. You're tuning to Prime View. Um, on my left here, like you know, we've been a few minutes gone, or a few, should I say, hour gone to the show. Mr. Spencer Nyanwelo, and our special guest today, Alaji Salisu Adamu Mohammed of the APC. So we've talked about a few things. We've talked a few things about security in Nigeria, economy, empowering, everything we've discussed. But now we need to talk about the uh, political issues. There's um, a lot of young parties coming up. There are the old ones, the major ones, the APC and the PDP. But now the PDP has formed a coalition, CUPP. My question now to Mr. Salisu Alaji Salisu is, do you think the CUPP is a threat to, a, uh, to APC? <laughs> well, all I can say is that's uh, what I think. Do I, you I, think I, so? I think <laughs> I, I, I think it is not even is 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 even non-existent. Oh, okay. And I give you antecedents. Even the same way the um, what was the Obasanjo party started. I think today we don't hear about it. The Donald Duke, the uh, Ogunso, or uh, what's the the man with the identity who left and was also but is dead on arrival. Okay. You see. What for me, I believe, is happening, especially with the CUPP, is look, a lot of people, a lot of people from the PDP are, 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 are not getting things right in terms of the architecture of politics of what happened. You see, in the 2015, what happened in 2015 and what is happening now, they're two different things. Oh, 2014, sorry. Mm -hmm. The gang up towards it, they're two different things. Mm -hmm. You see, in 2014, there was a credible platform that people were running to. And what was that platform? 
the APC. The APC had what? It had a candidate with the strongest of values that Nigeria really believes that this is what will deliver us integrity, corrupt free, and discipline. You just say change. That was what we believe. We were just running to that change. Changes. But did we get That's it? That's another issue now. We're getting Continue. it. We're yes. getting it. Yeah, we're yeah, getting it. We because the APC never told you you get it in three days or <laughs> you get it in one year. They I told know, you that they'll work on it. And they're working yeah, on it. Yeah. They're working. So you see, that's it. But now today, <laughs> with all due respect, <laughs> when I look at the people that are there that are saying, are from, well, let me, let's talk politics. Yes. How many of these people today will you say can get a councillorship position in their parties, in their states, in their local government, or in their the, wards? The likes of Saraki. Saraki is not there. Well, he, he, mm, you see, see, you see the perception, the wrong perception. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I think let's you've let's. Heard, let's heard, mm, we, you've heard, heard, but he's not there. Yeah, Tambor is not there. Saraki is not there. The we did, let, let, let's even talk about the people who are there yeah. Yeah. today. Let's even say the strongest person I saw there is who. Alaji Atiku Aboka. Yes, he's a PDP member, mm -hmm. strong veteran. Every four years, yes. he must do this. This is part of his, you know, he... he That's he, just like this, how uh, President you know? Buhari was with APC before. APC? How? Yeah. What do you when mean? he was, before he became the president. He was what? Yeah, he was one of the, like, uh, what Atiku is now. What is Atiku now? Yeah, go ahead. You're no, no, you were saying no, something. No, no, I, I, I didn't finish. I didn't finish. No, I didn't finish. I didn't finish. They're two different no, things. Go no, ahead, no, no. Go ahead, what go I'm ahead. going to say is, yeah. I said, Alleged Tiko Booker, mm -hmm. the, uh, the former vice president, mm -hmm. is if you look at the whole, well, he's the only politician mm -hmm. that I would say today mm -hmm. has at least structures Clearly around the country. Mm -hmm. You understand? But every other person there, I don't see him doing anything. The young ones, the other parties, forget about these two parties, like the YPP. You Who's don't YPP? Think you do, don't you know, think do you know the chairman of YPP? Yes, I do, of do course. Do you know YPP in any state? Of course, I, How many of states course do they, I know. Do they, wait, in, in the National the Assembly, in yes. the National Assembly, do I, y, is it YPP no, or IPP about, you call we're, them? We're no, 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 you see, this is how you know no, a political party. No, we are talking about How many councillorships do this? I, and this, this is, we're talking about something that is going to be in a couple of months' time. Yes. Okay, so this, uh, did you say YPP or IPP? YPP. Oh, I didn't even know their name to show. Okay, so... <laughs> okay. Oh, young progressive. Okay. So who? What? They don't control any uh, councillorship. Mm -hmm. They don't control any state house of assembly. They don't control any house of. The, you see, in Nigeria, but I think, and I'm going to find out personally on my own. I think there's something you get when you open a form a political party to go and get it registered because what we have is just political parties that spring up every four years for election purposes. Mm -hmm. And you see, this is all part of the whole process that we keep saying that needs to be changed, you understand, for us to have the right inclusion that me and you and all of us want no, that will bring him up. Because the that. whole process has yeah. a problem. There is no way you will tell me a country like Nigeria has up to a hundred no. political parties. What are the problems no, why, of Nigeria? Do that? you have a hundred no, uh, solutions? No, stating <laughs> that you know? Atiku had structures and all that. And there is a particular gentleman who also, I think, has a structure under this YPP, Kingsley Moral. If, Kingsley, you, if you haven't heard, listened to Professor Kingsley Moral, you don't know him You either. mean the CBN? Former, yeah, former der, uh, yeah, deputy okay. uh, governor okay. of CBN. He has the structure under oh, YPP. But he's, so he's, he's on the ballot. Now we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But, but don't, was he don't, there? Don't he wasn't there. Them. Don't no, no, condemn he's them. Not part of the he's not part of the no, CUPP. No, no, he's not. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So he's oh, like. Oh, no, sorry. I thought no. you were talking about the CUP no, no, member. No, 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 Are you talking no, no, about no, all no, presidential? No, 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 what I'm saying now. Okay. The younger ones. What oh, yeah, okay. What so I'm we've saying, left that. Have yes. we finished talking no, about that? No, because, because you're talking about Atiku having a structure. I said, no, I said he's One the only person that I saw there that I know. But if you look at all the other people there, I didn't see anybody there that can raise an eyebrow. That today says, can, can, you know? You know, that's not the. The notion is that. With the first baby step steps we're seeing, that would form the platform for those yeah. who are disgruntled in the mm -hmm. in the APC, such as the RPC lot, and the MP. Well, is that called the MPD? Yeah. Let, 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 if they, once, you once see, they're ready the to move, the, the, issue, the, the issue about the you issue know, about the issue about people being disgruntled. Yeah. You see, in any political movement, in anything, even in families, you have people who once in a while get disgruntled because of one thing or another. It may be injustice, it may be something. Anything can cause one block to say this and that, and that is what is happening. It's a normal thing in politics. And I can assure you, I can assure you, all these things will be worked out. Now we have a that's new what chairman. The PDP said. No, you know, no. That's what the PDP said in 2015. I think, I think the issue is we keep comparing, we keep comparing, but these are two different... Look, 
let me give you an example. Since you used, I, I, I hate to compare us with America, but let me give you an example with, with the Obama election. Do you know that? Part, my, this is also my view too. You know, even though Obama had the swag, he was all right and everything, but Americans were fed up with Bush. Americans would have voted anything other than whatever, Bush. They didn't want anything, and that is, for me, what I saw happen. So it was clear the writing on the wall. And going back to the election that happened now, yeah. Americans just did not want a Hillary Clinton. That to them, all that matters is anything other than her, yeah. I believe it was Bernie Sanders. And that's why it's not about age. Because if it was about age in elections, Bernie Sanders was the oldest person in that race. Yeah. But he had the youngest people pushing him. Yeah, yeah. So to say that, it's not an age thing. Now back to the issue of, of, of what is happening with the disagreement. People have disagreements, yes, it's normal. We must always have that. There's no way you have people that come together and everybody's interested. Now, you see, whenever in politics, when you're going, toward, uh, going towards an election, mm -hmm. everybody tends yeah. to now position mm -hmm. himself yeah. mm -hmm. so that you become relevant. Mm -hmm. And that's what sometimes you call pressure mm -hmm. groups, you mm -hmm. cause this and that. Yes, mm -hmm. you understand? People have ambitions, definitely. Mm -hmm. But one thing that is certain that the APC has is it has internal democracy. Everybody okay. will be allowed to come out and nobody will. I've never seen anything in terms of like when you say you anoint or we endorse. Yeah. It's, not, it's not done like that. Okay, on this everybody note, has that let's take level few, playing ground. Let's take a few minutes and hear what the viewers are saying. Can we hear what yeah, the comments? Yeah, I've got a few comments, uh, but uh, yeah. the, mostly some of them say you're, not, you're a liar. Some, <laughs> <laughs> some, some, some say uh, uh, you know, the issue of not calling a uh, terrorist, not calling uh, Uchenna. Well, Mugu is not happy. He said uh, you are disgraced for denying the full that Fulani husband are not terrorists. Well, uh, his, his opinion, my opinion. That's yeah. what I, yeah. I feel. And, and and uh, it's mainly you can see that what I've seen here is mostly people not happy with the way the the headsman issue. Well, I don't want to use the word headsman issue, but the killings have been handled. Yes, thank you. And I think if, I, I if, like the way you yeah, said yeah. you said you said the uh, the killings, yes. not the headsman issue. What, because what, what, you what remember, remember. Let me ask you. Let me tell you the same way Uchenna, you know, yeah. feels bad that. This is not the, that's the same way someone else is out there who is an honest herdsman who is doing his work and he believes also I have been um, like segregated or disqualified or, 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 or diminished to some level. So you see, it's both sides. But like we all said, which is one thing that's paramount, these things must be dealt with. It must be nipped in the butt. We don't like it. Nobody likes it. And we condemn it in totality. For me, for me, the issue of a name, honestly, whether you can call me anything but the truth is we just need to nip this in the butt let me tell you something these are even though we're going back but these are things that have been going on for such a long time but today now it's more something that it's been politicized I would say. yes but i still think it's good do you know why because it will make us deal with it, deal with it. Yes. so it's, it's a good thing but what i'm just saying it has been taken to another level in terms of you need it to sell headlines you need it to this but it is still good and because the, at the, the end the of the day the, what the we number of killings keeps on yeah but, but you can see but not, you see can let we me, just take it away from this uh, but i think i think for, for, for this some, perception yeah, for this perception yeah. if i don't mind just to end this for this yeah. i think you need to probably find audience with the nigerian police to find out what is going on they will i mean the the pro is always he always think the solution could be being that you for me, for me personally, what I think that has to do with this, but is for me, I think we need to bring back state police yeah. and our local That's government must work. Yeah. You see, because this problem is always solely around um, the yeah. rural. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's say that yeah. that place has been neglected mm. because now urbanization, everybody has moved to yeah. states from states to the capital. Yeah. You know, we keep focusing on the center. Yeah. But if I remember correctly, way back in the past, if your drainage is not working, there are mm -hmm. people from your local council that yeah, will that come and fix it. it yeah. And there's no government that can function without a local government. But today you find governors are doing the jobs of... Um, you, a governor today will go and be uh, saying he, he's commissioning a borehole. That is something that your local... So state police, for me personally, yeah. has to be... In place because we already have it. I don't know why a lot of people get so when they hear, they say, ah, oh, governors are not right. Yeah, every, every, most states have vigilante groups. Yeah. What are that? What is that? Let's call it a They are a force that protects people. No, the, the issue yeah, was if, if, say, with the sorry, not to go back mm, to the election, but mm, if imagine there was a state police mm -hmm. and you had the likes of Fire Share mm -hmm. as a governor and he had the state police, mm -hmm. what do you think would have happened in AKB last year over the weekend? If if he had it, if well, he had it could be abused. 
everything can be abused. But what is critical is, is we cannot live in fear based on speculation. Yeah. We cannot allow these things to keep happening. I, I honestly, it's sometimes when I think about it, even it's so sad it's that this thing, you understand? Yeah. So we can't live, let's, if our governors will do this, let's at least every day we're a work in progress. Yes. If the governors start to abuse it, it simply means we need to whip up our uh, yeah. state, their state um, assemblies yes. to come up with laws that protect yes. all this. We, but we have yeah. to move forward. And I'm very, very happy the um, National Assembly has taken the bold the step yeah. towards doing that. Yes. Okay, another question is, what's, what's your take on um, the zoning of... Uh, presidency to the southeast come 2023 but before that there's something i asked and you didn't quite answer it the way probably i wanted you to answer it why do you think we should vote back president muhammadu buhari why do i think yes but i think all the things we've talked about now agriculture yes, so infrastructure, all those things are the main yes, reasons yes. Okay. and we're moving so, today in nigeria nigeria so is really taking it in even the fight on corruption yeah. no government so, has look, focused have, so much on to, corruption that's like another this. thing that's another thing with another topic oh okay fight on big corruption. another because yeah because that was the main elephant. thing that actually drew us back the fight of corruption when they he drew came us into back. The, yeah, when he came into you, power. Okay, you mean in the of, diaspora? People in the diaspora? No, not in diaspora. I was in diaspora when. Uh, oh 2015. no, because I saw you say you always say you that the people of the okay, diaspora. Yeah, yeah. Okay, That's no, what no, I said. No. Is it the diaspora okay, people no, that no, no, okay? No. Now I'm diaspora. Okay. Then <laughs> okay. when 2015, I was in Nigeria. Okay. And when when he was one, when he came in, when the power APC came in. The main thing they were fighting them was corruption, corruption, corruption. No, there were three things. Okay, there he were campaigned three things. On three things. But the three main cardinal things. economy, economy. Yes, but the, they were corruption. they focused on corruption. They? Yes. No, they were. They were even the economy was being worked upon. All. No, they it, said first of all there was no money left for them to do anything. So they were yes, because the PDP. Uh, yeah, that's what Asiwaji Bolaji said. Uh, and Tinubu Jagaban told well, us now well, that they ran the thing. They took away. Yes. If we I mean, it was clear there was nothing. <laughs> the president stood and told us that thirty. Uh, we have how many? Thirty-six. Say that twenty-eight of them could not pay salaries. He had. That was the first bailout he gave them. Yes. Can you imagine what would have happened? They, no, the well, PDP. <laughs> forget about. You know, we're not thinking about PDP now. We're talking about APC and Buhari. Not and the these are people Buhari, that today they will. I mean, no, yeah. but think about it. The PDP. I would even want us to consider them again. You know, I mean, it's, 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 it's something wrong with us. No, it's not it's not the PDP. It's it's not the PDP. You see, you they're not registered, my brother. <laughs> they're not registered <laughs> so, until you're registered. No, they're not registered. They're not registered. They're not registered. And they're not a threat. Threat to who? To who? To who? Answer my question. Who? They're not. They're not a threat. What's your, what's, what's your take on zoning it to the southeast? Well, um, for me, honestly, I would answer this like this. The issue of zoning, mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. personally, because of, I have two ways I, 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 whenever I talk about the zoning thing. Mm -hmm. Zoning to me is not democratic. Yeah. But because of the structure of Nigeria mm -hmm. and because we have a federal character system yeah. that things should rotate in order for us to get to where we're going. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because uh, the way Nigeria is configured, really, if we, like for instance now, if I take from what comes to my mind, like maybe there, there are certain states I know that certain people, uh, certain um, regions or group keep on ruling because of their yeah. numbers, mm -hmm. right? Okay, now in those instances, I believe that things like that to accommodate or for justice mm -hmm. and equity. You know, there are two differences, justice and equity. Okay, equity yes, means yeah. giving everybody his rightful share. Yeah. Yeah. And if we go by the, the, the principle of equity, mm -hmm. it means if it's your rightful share, it means whoever has more should get more than that. Yes. But of course, there's justice. So for me, like I said, there are two things. Mm -hmm. So, But the issue of when we talk about zoning yeah. of so the, the, the southeast, of mm -hmm. course, every region in Nigeria, whether region, whatever, mm -hmm. has the right to be president of this country. But the key thing that I think is, for you to get it, you must work. And when I say work, I'm not saying they're not working for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think they would be better or stronger mm -hmm. if they are united yeah. to come yeah. out with a strong so movement. And that's yeah. why I always respect the regional, um, the um, um, uh, Agba party, you understand? Anambra yeah. State. Abga. Yeah. yeah, Abga, yes. Mm -hmm. I respect that party because no matter come rain, come shine, those mm -hmm. guys. Yeah, they're together. Yeah. Honestly, they are yeah. something that really, so 
for me, I'm just waiting for them to. Go across the yeah. Thank you. It should yeah, spread. The way we see in the southwest, mm -hmm. when they had the AD, when they had the AC, yeah, um, yeah. ACN, and all this, you yeah. understand? That speaking with one board. And if you remember, when you come back to the 2014, 2015, when there was that merger with the CPC, 12 million votes, mm -hmm. and then the the 80, you see, two blocks came together mm -hmm. and were able to collect yeah, power. Yeah. So I think now what should happen is if they come together, mm -hmm. it's achievable. Everybody, they're ready for it. There's no region that is not mature, you know, because they have held all the positions in this country yeah. from vice president, senate president, SGF, all positions. And I mean... Okay, we have, uh, we, less, than, we have less than five minutes to go. My final question now to you is, there's a lot of stories going on about not too young to run. Are you intending to run as president of Nigeria why are you or not any position? Actually, why are you not running yes. as president of Nigeria? Why, why, why am <laughs> I not? <young> man? <laughs> no, me, I know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I've passed, I passed that age of young. Yeah. I've passed that age of young. I think, There's a 40-year-old the Buhari. <laughs> Buhari. <laughs> Buhari. I, I think, What's his name again? I think, uh, Ahmed Buhari I running Buhari. I think what, what is happening now oh, with, with our youth, and I know this yes. would not come across nice, but I think our youth really are not investing in the right places. You see, politics is a local thing. Politics, you must invest in, polit in, in, in your local community. You must start from the grassroots mm -hmm. and rise up. You can't come and then say, not too young to run like you, you believe is your birthright to get it. It never happens that way. You must work for it. Nobody is going to move and give power to you. You must work to... At, I keep using this example, the Macron, because I remember when the French president came on board, everybody, oh, this, 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 this. But if you go back and check him, because because of that, I had to go back and really research on him. Yeah. Do you know this man has walked? Honestly, it's not that he was, yeah. but he really climbed the ladder, gained the requisite experience. Yeah. And the, now, you see, in Nigeria, again, our politics is configured in a way that you really have to be on ground to have it. Now, back to another thing in terms of this two young drone. We've had young people as governors now. Mm -hmm. Simon Interaki, how old was he? James Ibori, how old was he? Oji Kalu, how old were they when they were governors? They were young so we're governors. We're talking about presidency, right? No, 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 now, no, so. no, no, no. But what we're talking about is young people coming on board. Yes. Because mm -hmm. if you are a governor, you can be president now. Governor is also. So, what I'm just trying to say is that, to me personally, mm -hmm. there's nothing stopping anybody. Yeah. Yes. To vie for any office in this and country. You're saying this, is the so I think so I think the young people so today so should stop yes. waiting for somebody yes. but, to come and <laughs> hand it over to you like a gift because yes. nobody's going to do that. There's yes. no free. Go and work for it. Come together. Yes. Come become a block. Move forward. You move mountains. But now you're saying this is the, finally before I wait, is the APC gonna give diasporans the vote? Are we gonna get diaspora voting? I, I want to believe that the, the, what I know of the APC, and like I said, is a party of everybody. Everybody, nobody will be left out. If there is, so is any, there any plans, you know, if there's I, I, I believe there would be because of what I know. I, I, I would not um, speak. Maybe if you get the official one, but what I know of the APC, every nook and corner of this country. But I'll be surprised if that doesn't happen because the APC has a very strong um, UK. Um, diaspora, whatever movement that's going on, which is massive, and I know they don't share. So when I hear this, but because I'm even going to be meeting with some of them this evening, yeah. I'm going to have a meeting with them some uh, some of them this evening too. So I know, you can bring it up on <laughs> I know, I know that. So this perception of, of these on. things is really not um, as it is. It is horrible. Some of these stories of these killings, yes, they're things that have been with us for a while. You understand, but and measures sub governments in the past should have put things. I remember the issue of when this issue of ranching came up. Do you know there was a time 100 billion was released though, not um, uh, voted for, released out for ranches, not a dime. So but we all know what this, government did that. Okay. So today, we, yeah, uh, we know that, okay. that's it, we, we all know. So, so <laughs> what I just would like to say is yeah. Nigeria really truly today for me has a leader that has yes. the values Yes. The values that really, really will take us to the next level. And all we just need to do is to work together, drop all this ethnicity, religion, whatever, work together. Because Nigeria is for all of us. If Nigeria works for all, we would all be happy. We have to have a Nigeria first before any other thing. And I think that is what we need to support government. We need to support our institutions. We need to come across not from that negative perspective, but from that positive perspective. To, to, to really um, see that things happen. It is very, we appreciate having you today.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Anytime, 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 please. If you're watching us from anywhere, any part of the world, this is Prime View with myself, Mystic Marlene, and Spencer and Willow. We're here every Friday between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. But today, because Mr. Salis who just arrived, we decided to rush in him, rush him with this uh, program. Uh, and uh, then it's an honor. I really feel honored to be here. Thank you, you very much. You. And Thank you. Thank Until you. next time, stay blessed. Bye-bye. Thank you. Heritage, heritage Television. Television. Promoting African culture and heritage at its best. From talk shows that concern you to both local and international news that relates to you. From grassroots football to African children's programs. Heritage Television. We cover your social and special events like weddings, birthdays, church anniversaries and so on and broadcast them live on our apps and online. Heritage Television. Broadcasting everything about culture and heritage. Heritage, heritage Television. Television. We've got, We've it, got covered. it covered. Do download our apps on both Android, iOS, and Windows mobile platform. Heritage, Heritage Television, Television, your very, your own, very own TV station. TV station.